In this video, we will see how to create a Netflix Eureka client which will contact the Eureka server, get information about the running service instances and then contact the service and execute it. So we will start off by looking at the Eureka server and service instances which we had built previously. If you want to see how to build the Eureka server, please watch my video Spring Cloud Service Discovery Netflix Eureka Server and please watch my other video Spring Cloud Service Discovery Netflix Eureka Service if you want to see how to build the Eureka Service which registers itself with the Eureka Server upon startup. Here I have Spring Tool Suite running. Here is a Eureka Server project which launches the Eureka Server. The Eureka Server is running on port 8761. Here are the two instances of the service which registers with the Eureka server on startup. One of them is listening on port 8081 and the other one on port 8082. So let's go to HTTP localhost 8761 which is the dashboard provided by the Eureka server. Here we can see that the two instances of the Eureka service are registered listening on port 8081 and 8082. We can access the individual instances. So typing in localhost 8081 takes us to the first instance of the service and changing the port to 8082 takes us to the second instance of the service. Now let's create the client. So let's click File, New, Other, Spring Boot, Spring Starter Project, click Next. Let us name our project as Eureka Client, click Next. From the available dependencies, let's expand Cloud Discovery and choose Eureka Discovery. From the ops, let's choose actuator and from the web, choose web and click finish. Let's go to our main class Eureka Client Application Java and open it. Let's add the annotation enable Eureka Client, fix the import and save it. Now let us create a controller which we will call to initiate the client call. So let us right click on the source main java and choose new package. Call it controller, click finish. Let's right click on the package and choose new class. Call it client controller, click finish. Let's add the rest controller annotation to mark this class as a rest controller. Let's first create a private instance of the rest template builder which we will use to call the rest endpoint. Fix the import. Let's also auto wire it. Fix the import. Next, let's create a private instance of the Eureka client which we are calling the client. Fix the import. Let's auto wire it. Let's create request mapping to the base URL with a method called call service class. Fix the import. Inside the method, we create an instance of the REST template using template.build. Fix the import. Next, we use the auto wired Eureka client variable to invoke the get next server from Eureka method which takes in the service name to locate. We had named our service as Eureka service. This is from the application.properties file for our Eureka service project. Using false, we are indicating that it's not secure. Fix the import. Now from this instance, we will get the home page URL. The Netflix Eureka client will do a round robin among the available service instances. So call one and then next and so on. Now we invoke the rest template dot exchange method which returns the response entity. The exchange method takes in the URL. The HTTP method is get. The request entity is null. Return class is of type string and we do not have any URI parameters so we will delete it. Fix the import. This returns back a response entity of type string. Finally, we return response.getBody. Let's save the changes. Now, let's go back to our main Java class, Eureka Client Application.java, and open it. And over here, let us add add component scan controller. This is so that Spring will scan the controller package also, along with the com.example.demo package. Next, let us go to the application.properties file in source main Java. Let's give the spring.application name as Eureka Client. Let's enter Eureka.client.service URL, put the default zone, 
and give the URL as HTTP localhost 8761 slash Eureka for our Eureka server. Let's set Eureka dot client dot register with Eureka as false as we do not want the client to register with the Eureka server. Let's save the changes. And that is it. Let's right click on the project and choose run as Spring Boot app. And we can see from the console that it has been deployed on the embedded Tomcat on port 8080. If you go to the browser and type HTTP localhost 8080 to access the Eureka client, we see that it has successfully contacted the Eureka server, obtained the service instance and invoked it and we see the response. If we refresh it again, it goes in the round robin fashion and would now call the second instance of the service as it returns the string response from the second instance. In this video, we saw how to create a Eureka client which contacts the Eureka server for the instance info and then using the rest template calls the service in a round robin fashion. Thanks for watching.